Today's critical economic time prompts the question, why are environmental issues now at the forefront of our concerns? But in this new series of EcoEye, we'll see why economic progress and environmental protection are inextricably linked. We'll also explore what Ireland has to offer to a growing wave of ecotourists and examine how this could be a valuable source of economic recovery. Walking here in a beautiful place like this, it's difficult to believe what happened over the past few years to our wonderful country. Things are bleak, but there are some opportunities in the devastation. Opportunities to realise a new vision for Ireland, to save billions of euro and create tens of thousands of jobs, whilst at the same time benefiting the environment. We've all heard a lot of rhetoric about the potential of the green economy there has been some green shoots, but so far, little evidence of real action. The theory is, if we get our transformation right, harnessing green energy can generate large amounts of sustainable, long-term jobs in Ireland and protect our future economy. Let's take one figure. Every year we spend six billion euro importing oil, gas and coal to fuel our vehicles, heat our buildings, and make electricity. All that money leaves our economy every 12 months, never to return. Now imagine we could reduce that import bill by 50% over the next 10 years. It could save the Irish economy 3 billion euro every year, or a staggering 30 billion euro in a decade. Over the course of the new series of EcoEye, we're going to look at a whole range of new ways to make Ireland more sustainable and to dramatically reduce our over-reliance on imported fossil fuels and replace them with renewable sources generated here in Ireland. There's been a lot of debate about whether green energy really has the potential that proponents suggest. Some argue that it's less efficient or more expensive. But look at what the wealthiest and most successful nations around the world are doing in switching to green energy. Germany, Sweden and Denmark, to name only three, are investing heavily in the sector. And for Ireland, it is a perfect solution because we're particularly rich in renewable energy sources. We have the best wind in Europe, lots of potential for wood energy, which is ideal for heating our homes and buildings. We have the perfect land and favourable climate for growing energy crops, like willow, miscanthus and rapeseed, and have huge amounts of slurry, organic waste and grass that can be turned into biogas. While our vast oceans offer us an abundant and so far untapped source of offshore wind and ocean energy, such as wave and tidal, this offers us huge potential in exports of green electricity to the UK and Europe. In time, we'll have to become totally self-sufficient in energy. We could achieve 50% of all our energy needs within the next 10 years. These solutions have been around for a while now, but despite many encouraging proposals from state bodies, this country still has no master plan for implementing such a radical shift to efficient and renewable sources of energy on a major scale. We've seen what a positive impact insulation grants are having on the construction industry. 5,000 more people are retrofitting our homes around the country more efficiently. A serious effort on a wider scale to make our own energy would transform the Irish economy, providing a vital catalyst for change. Targeted development of green energy solutions could create upwards of 50,000 long-term sustainable jobs. These jobs will be in all sectors of the economy and in all parts of the country ideal for many of those who have lost employment in the past few years. Kickstarting the green economy will require a fundamental change in thinking and actions by government and society, but it is achievable. This sector needs few grants or subsidies, 
All what's needed are incentives for business and effective feed-in tariffs for green energy, and the market will take care of the rest. Now, the UK is following countries like Germany, Austria and Sweden, who've already introduced smart feed-in tariff systems and proven this can be done successfully. The benefits of addressing this now are many. We will create thousands of jobs, save money, and protect ourselves from the fluctuations and risks of the global energy market. Ireland is dangerously over-dependent on imported fuel. We messed up by not tackling our banking system earlier. Let's not continue making the same mistake with energy.